What's up guys, Artillboy here. Today we're doing another video. Today we're taking a look at the Buck 422, or known as the Bu Buck Light 422. Let's begin. So, these guys were introduced in 1985, to be exact. And the handles, now you could definitely... Yeah, and they basically have two, rather three variants, or rather three colors. The one I have is basically one in a red with basically with a different handle scale, which I think this um, might be the early version of this. I think it is. You know, for this one is more likely to be a later variant or rather both at the same time. Yeah. Of course, uh, also another thing I did point it out to, or I actually want to show you this piece, which... If you actually all know about a particular knife that I did got, or the rather got this sheath, I got this from a very unusual piece I had, which uh, for years I was like looking for what knife this is, which, yeah, it's this guy. The silver seriated switchblade, yeah. This actually was with this, the sheath itself. And the funny part about the sheath itself that actually belonged to the 422, and you could definitely know, you could definitely know my grandpa got me this, you know, when I was wanting to get a buck knife, you know, the whole story of wanting to get the 119 special, you know, got the, instead got the Gerber profile, drop point, so my grandpa got me this, and as you know, know when I got my, you know, my SOG seal pup, I found this one. Yeah, it's a really in a used condition, which you could definitely know for that. So, yeah. The sheath itself is basically have a Velcro attached to it. Also have a little pocket or a little hole for your belt loop. I basically have buck right here. As you could definitely see from this. Um, as you could definitely know, it basically pretty much fits snugly inside of the 422, just like that. Now, the handle scales, now, the handle scales is made of Valix plastic, which, as you could definitely know, made of Valix plastic. Also, by the other hand, you do have is like these two different handles design. Basically, have the handle groove of all things, which basically to handle it like that, which is pretty comfortable to wear, pretty comfortable to have. But in the other ver or two of the versions I have is this one's I have like a full plastic on basically the end point. And these two are basically a lockback knife. Now, in the other version, this one has a little hole on there. Or, I uh, meant this one. Yeah, this one has like a little hole for that for things like string and lanyard or paracord. This one doesn't have it. But in fact, this one has brass pins all over for this one. And of course, one small, small pin just for the lockback feature. Now this is how you now this is how you open it. Now you basically do it like this with the little little clip point and then there you go. Meanwhile for this area when you push that then you basically push the knife back basically on the same level. But uh what do these designs look similar to and I say similar design is well you could definitely know what it's similar to. And yes, it's basically kind of very similar to the Buck 112. This one's the 112 Lite, which is also pretty funny. And funny part about it, it actually had the same size like the one, the 422, or kind of had the same size like the 112, which is just I look identical of all things. And of course, for this one right here, 
or the green version, this one has like a pin right here, and of course a pin right here for rather for the blade, and the other one's for basically the lockback feature. Pretty simple, not even needing a lot of other pins to have. And the blade itself, the blade steel is made out of a 420 high carbon or 420 HC. Okay, and for the two version, do you have is the the Buck one 422 with the little dot right here in USA. Meanwhile, for the green one, have Buck 422, but with a but with an arrow pointed out that way, and then USA. Again, these are basically the two to the same deal. Now, for the size of the knife, would be around about. Basically around about two and a half inches. Meanwhile, for the handle size, and while it's closed, would be around about of four four quarters. Meanwhile, for the overall size and the knife overall size, would be around about of seven quarters. So let's test this bad boy out. So the results out there is actually pretty crazy. I mean, look at that. That's that's a pretty deep cut from from a knife like this size, which that's pretty crazy about that. Oh man, this is going to be a little hard for me to Well, as you could definitely know, the buck lights, the or the buck 20, 422 I'm giving the the Buck 422 an astounding of around about let's see around about of a nine out of ten. A pretty crazy or rather pretty simple knife that looks similar to rather to the 112, which is pretty crazy to say that. And for pretty much. Uh, I said I would recommend buying these, which I do, but the thing is, they're a little hard to find. This one I have, which uh, you can definitely bet your sweet bottom dollar that this one's pretty crazy, but also, yeah, that this stuff is a little hard to find, but if you actually get your hands on one of these, I would recommend getting this. So that wraps up of the Buck 124, or Buck 422. I'm Artillaboy, and I'm sunning out. I'll see you guys next time.